Hello everyone. Welcome back to our health class. This is Nurse Karen again. I'm happy to see you guys are all back. So last week we did talk about the heart. <clears throat> now we're going to move on to our next system, which is the respiratory system. So I am going to put up the little PowerPoint like I do all the other weeks and we can get started. Okay. <clears throat> So this week we're talking about the respiratory system. What's the respiratory system? It's what lets us breathe. Most of you guys probably know the lungs are part of that, but there's lots of other things that are part of the respiratory system as well. So first I wanna kind of let you guys know what are your guys' learning objectives. So your guys' learning objectives, so the things that you guys should be able to answer by the end of the lesson video are these questions. First one, what does your respiratory system do? Second one, what are the different parts of the respiratory system? What does each part do? Where is each part located in your body? Question number three, how do you inhale and how do you exhale? So this is what you call breathing. What happens when you do each one? Question number four, how many times do you breathe in a minute? So what's your breathing rate? And question number five, what makes your breathing faster and what makes it slower? So by the time you're done watching this video and the lesson video, you should be able to answer all five of these questions. All right, so we're just gonna do a quick little introductory. So what is the respiratory system? The respiratory system is the system that allows you to breathe. And we all know breathing is very important or else you cannot stay alive. So breathing is two parts. There's inhalation where you inhale, which is when you breathe in. So and then there's exhale, which is exhalation, and that's when you breathe out. What this movement does, inhaling and exhaling, is it's moving the oxygen throughout your whole body. And when it's moving the oxygen, it's also removing waste gases. So one of those waste gases is carbon dioxide, also known as CO2. So it gets rid of carbon dioxide because if you get too much of that in your body, it can become toxic and then it brings oxygen throughout your body, which also, if you have too much, can also be toxic. So you always have to make sure you have the right amount, and your body does a really good job of regulating that on its own. So there's actually lots and lots of parts of the respiratory system. We're gonna talk about kind of six main parts of it, but there's definitely lots more and a lot of details that can go into it if you're actually trying to study it in detail. So the first things we're going to talk about are your nose and mouth, which I'm sure all of you guys are familiar with. Then we're going to go into the larynx, which is also known as your voice box, and that's what kind of lets you talk. After that, we're going to talk about the trachea, which is your windpipe, and it goes down through here. We're then going to talk about the lungs, which I'm sure all of you guys are familiar with the lungs. After that, we're going to talk about some things called the bronchi, bronchioles, and alveoli. Most of you probably have not heard of these, but these are actually within your lungs. So we will go into more detail of that on the next lesson video. The last thing we're gonna talk about is the diaphragm and the ribs. So the diaphragm is the muscle that helps you breathe and the ribs is around your heart, or around your lungs. Okay, so all of this will be discussed in the lesson video, so make sure you watch that next. So the next few steps is, like I just said, make sure you watch the lesson video so click on the computer screen in the classroom to be able to watch that video. Once you're done watching the video, make sure you click your grade level on the right-hand side to go back to your classroom. Once you're in your classroom, complete the activity that's for this week, depending on your grade level, by clicking on the poster in the classroom. So if you're kindergarten, you might have a simpler activity, whereas if you're a fifth grader, it might be a little bit harder. It all has to do with the parts of the respiratory system though, so make sure you pay good attention to each one. The last thing you're going to do is you're going to get on during your grade level's office hours by clicking the live button. This step is optional like it has been all the other weeks. This time is great if you have questions or you need clarification on something or if you just want to talk health and what we talked about this week, so the respiratory system. If you guys do go in, I'm super happy to see you guys and I look forward to seeing you guys during your office hours. Bye now, go watch the lesson video.